Think about a time when you wanted to try something new, like dancing, painting, or a career choice, but held back because the thought of other people's opinions paralyzed you, whispering doubts in your ears. Imagine a world where you could break free from the chains of seeking validation from others. A world where you could confidently be your true self without constantly worrying about what people think. It's liberating, isn't it? Welcome to Slakab, a place to embrace freedom, unleash your true self, and discover life's untold treasures. We know you can't wait to dig deep, but first, let's talk about perception. People's perception is how individuals see and understand things. It's like wearing glasses that affect how they view the world and the people in it. Each person's perception is unique because it's influenced by their own experiences, culture, and beliefs. Sometimes people's opinions or judgments about us are based on their perceptions, which may not always be accurate or fair. Understanding this helps us navigate social situations better and decide how much importance we want to give to what others think of us. Now you're thinking, do I care what people think of me? And for that simple reason, we will list some signs you care too much about what others think of you. You change in response to every criticism, that is, you compromise your authentic self and conform to societal expectations or the opinions of others to gain acceptance. You struggle with decision-making because you fear making choices others might disapprove of, leading to indecisiveness. You hold your tongue if your opinion differs. You prioritize the desires and expectations of others above your own, neglecting self-care and compromising your happiness and fulfillment. External validation heavily influences your self-worth, and a lack of approval or criticism from others can significantly impact your self-esteem. You have difficulty setting boundaries and saying no because you fear disappointing or upsetting others, even at the expense of your well-being. Does any one of these points resonate with you? Not to worry, let's find ways to make this better. Expect and accept that people have opinions of you. Imagine you have a favorite color. Let's say it's blue. Imagine your friend thinks blue is not lovely and prefers red instead. That's their opinion, and they're entitled to it. You can expect that your friend has a different opinion about your favorite color. It's like knowing that people have different tastes and preferences. Accepting it means not getting upset or bothered by their opinion. You understand that everyone sees things differently, just like some people might like different ice cream flavors or enjoy different types of music. It's okay for people to have their thoughts and opinions even if they don't match yours. Take back control of your feelings. It means not letting other people's opinions or judgments dictate how you feel about yourself. It's about recognizing that you can decide how you react and respond to what others say or think about you. Let's say your friend, as mentioned earlier, makes a negative comment about your appearance. Instead of immediately feeling hurt or insecure, you can take control of your feelings by reminding yourself of your worth and not letting their words affect your self-esteem. You can recognize that their opinion is just one perspective among many, and it doesn't define who you are. By taking back control of your feelings, you are not allowing others to have power over your emotions. You can focus on building a solid sense of self-worth and self-acceptance, and not rely on external validation for your happiness. Remember, everybody makes mistakes. Making mistakes is a natural part of being human, and it happens to everyone. Think about a time when you made a mistake, like forgetting an important appointment or saying something that unintentionally hurt someone's feelings. It happens to everyone, including the people you might admire or look up to. Recognizing that mistakes are a normal part of life helps us cultivate compassion for ourselves and others. By embracing that mistakes are a natural part of life, we create a more forgiving and accepting mindset. It enables us to foster healthier relationships with ourselves and those around us and cultivate an environment where learning and personal growth can thrive. Develop your sense of self and build confidence. Developing your sense of self and building confidence is essential for navigating life with a strong and positive mindset. It involves understanding and appreciating your worth, 
strengths, and values. You can practice self-reflection, setting goals and taking action, embracing your strengths, and positive self-talk to help. Remember, developing your sense of self and building confidence is a continuous process. Be patient with yourself, celebrate your achievements, and embrace the journey of personal growth. You are your own worst critic. As an individual, you have the most intimate knowledge of your thoughts, feelings, and actions, which can sometimes lead to self-criticism. Think of a situation where you made a small mistake. While others may not pay much attention or dismiss it easily, you might dwell on it and judge yourself harshly. You may be more aware of your perceived flaws or shortcomings, which can magnify your self-criticism. However, it's important to remember that this self-criticism isn't always accurate or fair. Our own insecurities, perfectionism, or unrealistic expectations often influence it. You can challenge negative self-talk and strive for self-compassion. Treat yourself with kindness, understanding that making mistakes or having flaws is a normal part of being human. Practice acknowledging your accomplishments and focusing on your positive qualities. This shift in perspective can help you develop a healthier and more balanced view of yourself. Watch the people around you. This has been my number one watchword. I am 100% conscious of the people and energy surrounding me. Invest your time into meeting people that appreciate you. Here is a list of the things we look forward to in people when we meet them. In a way, people with different world views than we do to help broaden our horizons and give us a different kind of insight. Role models. Of course, they have achieved what we are trying to do. Their success in the areas we admire inspires us, constructive friends or individuals. Yes, it could be a stranger, but constructive feedback makes you want to try and guess what. You learn to be constructive, too. We recommend you watch 100 Humans on Netflix to understand this more. However, it's important to remember that not all feedback is equally valuable or accurate. Be discerning in selecting trusted individuals whose opinions you value and who have your best interests at heart. Additionally, maintaining self-awareness and trusting your judgment is crucial. Use your feedback as a guide, but make decisions and choices that align with your values and goals. We will talk about that soon. Don't judge others. Not judging others means refraining from making negative assumptions or criticisms about people based on limited information. If you see someone wearing unconventional clothing, we can feel our older Nigerian peeps rolling their eyes already. Instead of immediately judging them, you could choose to appreciate their individuality and respect their style. By not judging, you create a more inclusive and accepting environment where people feel comfortable expressing themselves without fear of being judged. People don't really care. People often prioritize their thoughts and concerns over others. This is because each person primarily focuses on their experiences, desires, and responsibilities. Another reference to 100 Humans, an experiment on Netflix. Let's say you feel self-conscious about a mistake you made in front of others. While you may be dwelling on it, it's likely that those around you have already moved on and are more preoccupied with their own lives and concerns. Recognizing this can help alleviate the fear of being constantly judged or scrutinized by others. However, it's important to note that this doesn't mean people don't care about others at all. We are social beings, and genuine connections and empathy exist. While individuals may be primarily focused on themselves, they can still have the capacity to care and show support when it matters. Don't try to please everyone. The famous story of the man, his son, and the donkey illustrates the importance of not trying to please everyone. When they both walk beside the donkey, they are criticized for not riding it. When the father rides, he is blamed for making his young son walk. When the son rides, he is blamed for leaving his elderly father on foot. When both ride, they are berated for overburdening their beast. They both decided to carry the donkey. And finally, people laughed as they entered the village and said, 
Look at those silly creatures, carrying the donkey instead of riding it. The man realized that no matter what they did, someone would always find fault and criticize them. The moral of the story is that trying to please everyone is impossible. No matter what we do, someone always has a different opinion or judgment. Instead, making choices based on what feels right and aligns with our values is essential. It's okay to care. Wait, what? What then is the point of this post? Hear us out. Caring about others and their opinions is a natural part of being human. It shows empathy, compassion, and a desire for connection. However, it's important not to let the opinions and judgments of others overwhelm you. Here's why. Imagine not caring what a concerned partner or family member says because an article told you not to care. Caring helps you build meaningful connections and show support for the people you value. It inspires growth when you are emotionally mature to consider different perspectives and learn from diverse experiences. Remember, caring about others is okay, but striking a balance is important. Don't let the opinions or expectations of others overwhelm you to the point where it compromises your happiness and authenticity. Find a healthy equilibrium that allows you to care for others while maintaining your well-being. Don't ask and stop overthinking. Overthinking can create a cycle of rumination and indecisiveness. It can prevent us from taking action and moving forward. By consciously stopping overthinking, we free ourselves from the mental trap and allow space for clearer thinking and decision-making. Remember, it's important to balance thoughtful consideration and overthinking. While avoiding overthinking can be beneficial, it doesn't mean dismissing the importance of critical thinking or seeking information when necessary. Trust your instincts, be present, and focus on what you can control in the present moment. Live by your values, and here comes the reason we are here. Living by your values means making choices and behaving in ways that align with what you believe is important and right. If one of your values is honesty, you always strive to tell the truth, even if it's difficult. If living by your values also means prioritizing kindness, so you try to be kind to others daily. By living in line with your values, you stay true to yourself and create a meaningful and fulfilling life. In conclusion, freeing yourself from the opinions of others is a journey of self-discovery and growth. Embrace who you are, focus on what truly matters to you, and live by your values. Remember, you have the power to define your happiness and worth. Be true to yourself and live a life that reflects your authentic self.